everybody. <laughs> Happy Mutt Loving Monday. <laughs> Happy TDIM. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've got a different different name for every day of the week. Yep. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Did you have a good weekend? Uh, did you have a happy Easter? If you yeah. celebrated Easter, I hope you had a happy holiday and all that good stuff. Um, Hillary and I are back. I'm Patty Quinn with We Heart Hounds. Have my lovely, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what side, <laughs> lovely Hillary Buholtz with me today. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and um, we are going to chat about another kiddo canine craft uh, that we kind of pop in throughout the week, a um, couple times a week now, and doing those just to inspire the kiddos and the families to get together and do some fun things. Um, if you're looking for stuff to do, um, please sprinkle the puppy love. We've got lots of uh, crafts, um, not only this one, but lots of crafts in our playlist. So check those out. Um, I'm sure there's something there maybe that'll spark an idea mm -hmm. and give you something fun to do. Um, so today's craft is going to, it's all about kind of teaching kiddos storytelling and kind of letting some of their imagination and creativity fly. Um, I have got a little craft on how to put together a dog joke book. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're gonna do dog jokes today, but you can also use this for storytelling and even telling jokes or teaching your kids how to tell a story, yes. which is kind of fun. So basically what you do is you grab some lunch sacks, that you would hopefully have laying around the house um, with kids not going to school. You might have extras <laughs> of those laying around the house. This is the perfect thing to do with these like these uh, empty lunch sacks. So you get about three or four of them. Um, doesn't really matter. And then this is where the fold is. You're going to want to fold them in half. I've got a stack of like three of them. I'm going to fold them in half with that extra flap on the inside. And then you make a crease and then you're going to use a hole punch and punch three holes. Now I had to do each one separately. So I did the first one and punched holes. And then I tucked the second bag inside and lined up the holes with the first one. So I'm only punching holes in one bag at a time, um, just cause my hole punches, you know, kind of got hard to do. Um, but anyway, you do that and then you use some string or ribbon to uh, tie them all together. And I've got, I just did multiple colored strings yes. here. Yeah, and you've got yourself a little book. And then what you do is you take white piece of paper, your printer paper, and just cut out a square and glue it down. Or if you have um, double-sided tape, sticky tape, you can use that to, to adhese it down. Um, I used a glue stick. It worked okay. Uh, but honestly, it starts to come off at the edges and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't, sometimes it do, if you don't use a whole lot of glue, it doesn't really stick all that well, especially if you're going to be drawing and coloring and all of that kind of stuff on here. And so the idea is you can fill the whole book with empty pages and you can have your kiddos draw a picture. Um, you could have them write, you know, funny phrases or funny jokes or funny ideas. Um, or one of the things I've got in uh, a link, so I've got two links in this post. One is on how to do this little book so you can create the book. And then the other one is um, a bunch of dog jokes. So here's my little <laughs> cute <laughs> dog joke book. <laughs> and I, you know, you can kind of, I use colored pencils to color it in. So you can, you can make this, you know, design it any way you want. You can use stickers and all kinds of stuff. And then um, with the dog jokes that I have a link to, you can just copy and paste your favorite ones and put them in a, a, a Word document or document and print that off. Or you could probably even print up the, the web page itself with all the dog jokes on it. Um, I wanted to make sure they were kind of spaced out nicely in a nice color and all that stuff. But, um, and then you can add some other cartoon kind of coloring book dogs in here or stickers and you can have them draw or do whatever they want. Um, I've got some more jokes in here and just some washi tape and all that. Um, and another, another coloring page with some jokes. So um, it's really just something fun and creative. Um, some of the stories people were saying in the comments on how to make the book were, oh my gosh, I've got a granddaughter who comes to visit or would love to have a, a record of all of her drawings, like all in one place. So, you know, just having them kind of create that and they could tell their own little story about their own puppy dog at home or uh, whatever you'd like. Um, but I just, 
I'm a sucker for silly kid jokes. <laughs> so <laughs> like what, why should you be careful when it rains cats and dogs? Why? Be because you might step in a poodle. <laughs> 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 or here's another there's a couple of them they're so funny um which dog breed absolutely loves living in the city a new yorkie <laughs> <laughs> and my all-time favorite why aren't dogs good dancers because wow. they have two left feet <laughs> <laughs> So you could just have a lot of fun with these. I mean, it's just hysterical. Like, and kids love, I mean, I remember when I was a kid learning how to tell jokes for the first time. It's the best, you know, and yeah. they get to be, they get all kinds of um, positive feed work, uh, feedback, you know, they get to make their folks and everybody in the room laugh and stuff, which is a fun thing for kids to do to get, you know, some positive attention and, and learn how to kind of express themselves. And yeah. I think telling jokes is a way to tell stories and learning kind of you know how to tell a punchline and and all of that kind of stuff so anyway this is this is today's craft i just think it's just precious it's a really great idea and some of these if you wanted to you could actually have them i didn't secure them closed you could certainly do that on the openings of the bag but you can have them tuck in little cards or stickers or extra things they want so that they can continue to fill out um their pages you know as, oh, as they adorable. go forward yeah. and stuff so really cute idea <laughs> i you. love that it is so fun <laughs> i did not show hillary this before we started so i wanted to get your reaction but yeah this is it i think it turned out really cute um it's a lot of fun you know who doesn't love coloring and yeah. you know using playing with stickers and and all that kind of stuff so um and then obviously you can fill it with whatever you'd like uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with it. I hope the kiddos do too. <laughs> um, I just like the idea of really the blank slate. Yep. You could do whatever you wanted with this. Um, I think it, it would really turn out um, so adorable and so cute. Um, and just be a little keepsake. Like, yeah. can you imagine bringing this out on their wedding day and going, hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell a few jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i just think this is uh, adorable um i would love to see if anybody wants to put one together um or just take a picture of the kids you know uh coloring or, or writing their own jokes or um yeah that would be that fun would to be see great. so yeah. please feel free to share uh, but anyway so that's today's craft this is a little dog joke book um, i just, love it yeah i love it and i just love the silly corny jokes it's <laughs> they're so bad <laughs> <laughs> well, and you could kind of have the whole family, like if you have older kids, they could help kind of coming yeah. up with some of the jokes and the yes. younger kid is the one that's kind of transcribing and compiling the, all the, you know, yeah. if you got your dad jokes and all those. And so they're exactly. kind of transcribing it into their own little book. Yeah, the family, like the, book. <laughs> the family joke book. Yeah, that's great. Like, what do you get when you cross a dog with a phone? A golden receiver. <laughs> <laughs> They're bad. <laughs> They're bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, these are just a lot of fun. They're like corny jokes and stuff, but yeah, it's 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 a great family. Uh, it's a great activity that the kids could do that actually brings the whole family yep. together, which yep. is kind of fun. It's a neat That's thing. Great. So anyway, hope everybody enjoyed today's little lighthearted tickle your funny bone uh, craft today. Um, please feel free to share it. And um, we'll, we will be back again uh, in probably in a couple days yep. with another craft. Yep. And looking forward to our Fridays, Think Dog It's Friday crafts um, at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time, where we're always at this same bat time, same bat channel kind of <laughs> place on Fridays um, and look forward to seeing everybody then. So thanks everybody. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks.